Hello everyone. In this channel of science and technology, today I have come up with some useful information about information technology. That is internet. At this point of 21st century, we hardly find people who do not use the internet. That means almost all people are found using internet everywhere. Whether it is at home or at the office or in the vehicle or on the way, whenever, wherever we find, they are using the internet. People use internet for various purposes, like for entertainment, for surfing or browsing on Google, social media, chatting, sending documents, and so on. But sometimes such a useful internet may also bother us. That means it creates lots of problem because of its slow speed. Many people have lots of headache on it. Today I am going to talk on this topic of what causes slowing down of the internet speed and what are the various methods or solution of increasing the speed of internet whether by changing computer setting or by any other creative ideas or any other methods firstly if you want to watch normal videos on youtube or in any other videos link or we want to text message in different messengers low or normal speed internet is sufficient that is 1 to 5 mbps internet is sufficient but if you want to watch hd videos that is high quality videos then we need high speed internet that is more than 5 mbps that it may be 10 Mbps or 20 Mbps or 40 Mbps or more than that. We enjoy the smoothness of the high speed internet while chatting in videos, call, watching full HD videos, opening many browsers and so on. Next point, we should always Check the service package that has been provided by the internet company or provider. Sometimes what happens by mistake or intentionally that we pay for high speed internet like 40 Mbps but the service provider give us just 25 Mbps package. In this context, we need to be very careful, otherwise we suffer from the bothering of low speed internet. At this situation, we should immediately make a complaint in the provider's office. Third point, internet speed also depends upon quality of our devices, that means the speed of the internet depends upon the router area coverage, quality of cable, quality of receiver device, etc. That's why we should always choose high quality devices in which internet connection is easy and smooth. Fourth point. When we are using the internet through Wi-Fi, the router should be in proper place. That means router should be closer to the user or we may say the wi-fi user should be closer to the router also the router orientation should be towards the user fifth point we should keep the unique and little bit complicated password of wi-fi common password or easy password can be easily guessed or hacked by the hackers like easy password, the name of the person, or the Wi-Fi owner, or like uh, NEPL Nepal, simple password easily be 
guessed or hacked. To make secure password, we should always use uppercase means capital letter, lowercase small letter, numbers and symbols. As an example, we can put password like all the height at the rate seven eight nine one. A capital, other are small. A L D E H Y D E at the rate seven eight nine one. Moreover, to keep password more secure, it should be changed time to time. Sixth point: the speed of internet may be slowed down if the internet cables are pressed or router are covered or blocked by some opaque objects and so on. So we should frequently check up those cables and router which are vulnerable to these situations of pressing, covering or blocking. Seventh point. The devices which use the internet should be secure. That means the de these devices like mobile, tablet, laptop or desktop should not be overloaded by opening unnecessarily many browser or files or storing many files on the desktop etc background apps should be disabled or closed because background apps also decreases the working speed of computer and the speed of internet as well Eighth point, blocking the hackers. Sometimes hackers bother us very much. So by blocking the hackers permanently, we can get rid of this problem. That means when there is lots of hacker or more user, the internet speed may go down. But if we block them, then that is the permanent solution that hacker will not get connected in our internet or in our Wi-Fi then obviously speed of Wi-Fi increases so how to block them for this first of all open the Google page www.google.com and and enter the um, IP address of your router uh, every router has IP address to know IP address you can see at the back side of your router or you can ask or consult with your internet provider company they will easily give you the IP address of the router here I am going to put the or I am going to type the uh, IP address of the router that is my router uh, that is 192.168.1.1 this is IP address of my router actually it is IP address of Bionet router now we can put the search button now here login page user login page will open username user admin and we have to type the password here so our password will know our password so I'm also going to type the password here I have typed the password now let us login now after login this home page will open and here is a menu containing uh, different headings that is status internet security apply manage diagnose diagnose and help 
Now, first of all, who, who are using our internet or who are the internet user uh, through our Wi Fi? To know this, first of all, we should check the user information. Uh, here is the user information. Let us click on the user information. So, if you go in user information, uh, here are number collection of things. Mm, many information are provided here. So, we should know the MAC address. MAC address. So, associated client info. Client means the internet user who are using our internet through Wi-Fi. So here are three devices are connected in our Wi-Fi. So his MAC address are given here starting from 60, second is 08 and third is 70. So these are the MAC address of devices which are connected in our Wi-Fi. So here are many information link is straight text packets text byte and many other information we can see here link time expire time from what time the devices are linked with our internet that is provided here so with those MAC address now we can block the users or the hackers through this MAC address so we should know the MAC address and this MAC address is necessary to block them now we know these three devices are connected now we go to security security and here is URL and MAC so uh, we don't use URL here URL means certain web browser or filter but we are using here MAC filtering so through the MAC address of devices we are going to block them so let's press the MAC so MAC filter is now opened so filter mode if blacklist and whitelist are open at the same time blacklist is effective now we will discuss about blacklist and whitelist later in detail so we are using mac address filter so let us check on open so mac filter open we can do close also we can do open also so this time we are opening the mac filter now actually we are using here blacklist method means we are blocking the uh, blocking the hackers so blacklist is on and whitelist whitelist means we are allowing the devices so whitelist is off blacklist is on now here are already two devices are in blacklist uh, if you want to add next device in the blacklist we have to press the add button and we have to type here description means name of the device or the company of the device and mac address Well, uh, two well letter are here, letter and numbers, uh, MAC address. So, to know MAC address, we go back uh, into that device info page. So, we start us user info, and in user info, here is MAC address of the clients associated clients suppose we are going to block the first one so we, we're gonna do copy the mac address and again coming to the security 
coming to the security and uh, here mac filtering so after mac filtering we're gonna do mac filter open yes blacklist on whitelist off now we're gonna add the blacklist mac address we have to paste here mac address mac address mac address paste it over here now we're gonna uh, write the name or description of the device so what that is name is samsung z it can be any name over there so that is samsung z it can be uh, j6 also or it can be nokia also or any so you may be thinking how to know the device name we can easily find the device name through any scanner wi-fi scanner you can easily find mac address also you can find through the wi-fi scanner or like network discovery and so on now if you do apply save and apply then it will be saved automatically when it is saved then this device with this mac address and with this name samsung electronics z it will not be connected again if the that hacker knows the password of the wi-fi even after that also the device cannot be connected because it is already in blacklist so this is how we are blocking the hackers by checking on blacklist similarly if you check on whitelist then what happened let us see if you do blacklist off and whitelist on then what happens whitelist means we are allowing those devices when we allow those devices those devices will smoothly run in our internet or wi-fi and those which are not listed in whitelist this device will not run so every time when we, if we are using the new device like computer uh, what you call uh, laptop or tablet or mobiles then we have to add the whitelist with their name and mac address and we have to press the add button press the add button and similar procedure is followed so only whitelisted devices are only connected in our Wi-Fi and other devices are automatically avoided in connection through our Wi-Fi so with this Mac filtering we can block the hackers easily so if you block the hackers there are only few or limited number of devices and our internet speed will suddenly increase so this is how we block the hackers and increase the speed of our internet now we're gonna exit login page so let's press the exit login page now we can come to home page Dear viewers and the listeners, after watching these videos of causes of slowing down of internet and its remedies, I hope now you will not get such a problem of slowing down of internet. Next time I will come up with some 
more information about science and technology please don't forget to like comment and share these videos and subscribe my channel thank you for watching see you